What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. We are fresh off the holidays and I know some of y'all watching, just like me, probably ate a little too much. So the best thing we can do is get back in that kitchen and make anabolic foods that not only taste amazing, but are gonna help us get off a little bit of that Christmas fluff. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys my favorite recipe for making that delicious Japanese steakhouse hibachi chicken right in the comfort of our own home. It is not only gonna taste just like the chicken you'd get at Benihana's, but we've made it have even less calories, even more protein and dare I say even more flavor if you want a simple and effective way to make restaurant quality chicken right in your own house it's not gonna be loaded down with calories and guilt then I'm telling you look no further than the anabolic diet and recipes just like this one cuz I'm telling you if you follow them they just might change your life and with the holidays in full effect and Christmas right around the corner we're all gonna have a lot of temptation and a lot of chances to fall off of our diet in the coming weeks which is fine on the holidays but if you want to avoid the extra weight gain that way when January January comes, you're not scrambling for your New Year's resolution, then perhaps the best Christmas gift you could give yourself is my anabolic cookbook, which you can find at the first link down below in the description box. The goal of this book is to teach you the anabolic lifestyle. We're not giving up foods we love. We're just learning how to make the better versions of them. That way, when you're on a diet, you're not stuck craving all this stuff you can't have. Instead, you eat the pizza you want, the donuts you want out of this book. And I guarantee if you follow us in here, you will see results no matter what. Give the gift of gains this holiday season. Hit that link down below in my description box if you want to check it out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get to it. If y'all are waiting their epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! This is your final reminder if you want the best deal on Anabars ever. Go to theanabar.com, use my code RJF10, that's gonna unlock the full Black Friday Cyber Monday discount. This expires early Tuesday morning, so make sure you get in there. And also, we're doing a giveaway per usual, so if you wanna enter to win a free box, just do these three things on the screen right here, and I'll announce the winner in the next video. And then I'm a man of my word, so I'm gonna give you guys an accountability check. It is the day after Thanksgiving. I ate a ton. Calories didn't matter yesterday. Let's see what happened to my physique. And, woo, how am I looking. You can probably notice I'm holding a little bit of water, a little bit of bloat. My stomach's a little more distended than it normally is, but that's just a side effect of eating really good. A lot of this weight is water. I always try to tell people it's really hard in just one day to gain a ton of weight. You have to eat over 3,500 calories to do that because there's 3,500 calories in a pound. So a lot of people get discouraged after, think they've lost their progress, but really all you need to do is give it a couple days, drink your water, get back on the anabolic diet, the water weight will drop, and you'll be right back where you left off. So let me know what you think of my physique below. Enter the giveaway. Now let's make this chicken. All right, folks, we're going to make this as easy as possible, I promise. Even if you've never been in the kitchen before, this is so simple, you really can't mess it up. So what we have here is a pack of chicken breast tenderloins. I like these, I think they're easier to cut up into pieces, especially for chicken recipes like this. Plus when they shape these, they've already trimmed off a good amount of the fat. So that leaves us with essentially a pure protein source. So what we have here is a little over two pounds of chicken. I'm just gonna go in with each of our tenderloins and cut them up into tiny bite-sized pieces. This will make sure it cooks quick and every piece gets coated with our special sauce and marinade. And once we got the chicken cut up, I'm gonna grab a bowl and I'm gonna weigh out a pound or 448 grams right down inside and boom I have two bowls each with 448 grams of chicken and the reason we want to separate them is that in a large skillet if we're gonna make these hibachi style you don't want to overcrowd the pan or have too much going on at one time having this amount of chicken with the seasonings already weighed out in each bowl makes it stupid simple to dump one bowl in fry it up and move on to the next one depending on how much you want to make so moving forward I'm gonna give you the ingredients for just one of our bowls but keep in mind I'll be doing a little meal prep and I'll be making that extra one in advance because as good as it is fresh is just as good a couple days later. So what we're gonna do now is place our bowl on the food scale. We're gonna begin by weighing out 45 grams of low sodium soy sauce. And then for that authentic hibachi flavor, we're gonna add in seven grams of a pure sesame oil. And this next one is a staple. If you ever wonder what they're spraying on the chicken when they're frying it in the restaurant, that's in those unlabeled containers, I'm answering the question for you. Hoisin sauce is the answer. We're gonna take this and add 17 grams down in here. And here we go, guys. We're almost done. Next up, we need three grams of minced garlic. And last but not least, we'll add in three grams of ginger paste. And now all that's left to do is go in by hand and mix everything together so all of our chicken is thoroughly coated. And the cool part about this is, just like regular hibachi, we don't have to let this marinate in order to get all that flavor. So once it's mixed up, we're ready to cook right away. But keep in mind, you could always make this in advance, store it in Tupperware containers. That way, when you get home after work or you need something real quick to cook, all you gotta do is fry it in the skillet. Tony, guys, losing weight, following a diet and eating good, half the battle of it is just thinking ahead and prepping a little bit. 
So our chicken is officially ready to go, but we're gonna need a side dish for it. So I'm gonna show you guys a quick and easy way to make low calorie fried rice. So all I'm gonna do is grab about three cups of cooked rice I just made in my rice cooker. Then I'm gonna grab a small bowl, I'm gonna get a food scale, and I'm gonna show you a really cool fried rice hack that makes this simple. At your local grocery in the Asian section, you should be able to find a fried rice seasoning packet. Kinda like you'd buy for taco meat, except it's for fried rice. We'll just dump it down in our bowl. Then I'm gonna add 45 grams of low sodium soy sauce. Then I'm gonna add 14 grams if I can't believe it's not butter. And then to keep the recipe light, we're just gonna use a tiny little bit, about seven grams of our sesame oil. Now I'm just gonna go in, mix everything together, and keep in mind, if you want a more full breakdown of how I make this rice, I have a few videos on my channel. If you just type in anabolic hibachi fried rice, they'll pop right up and you can get a more in-depth look. And then once we got this mixed up, I'm gonna place a wok on a skillet, we'll grease it real quick, then I'll toss in some diced white onions. And after that, we'll toss in the rice, then we'll toss in our seasoning, and then we'll just go in and mix everything together. And there we go, in a few minutes, we have fried rice basically done. The final thing to do once it's all mixed up is just toss in some frozen peas and carrots and give everything one final mix. And once we got it mixed up, we're just gonna let it cook about two to three more minutes. That's gonna let the frozen peas and carrots thaw out. And after that, we officially have better for you anabolic fried rice that's gonna pair perfectly well with this chicken. So the side dish is done, now we can move on to the chicken. And as easy as the fried rice was, this is even easier. How we're gonna do this? We'll start by taking a large skillet, putting it on high heat, greasing it real quick. And once it's heated up, I'm gonna dump this down in here, spread it out, and let it cook on one side in the juice until the chicken turns white and it's basically almost done. Woo! Go in and spread it out. And once it's just about cooked all the way through, we're gonna go in, mix everything up, flip it over, and let it cook a couple more minutes till it's done. Basically just work it like this, move it around in the skillet, and essentially just do this for a couple more minutes until it's all the way cooked through. And once it's finished, we'll just plate it up. That way it's ready to serve. I'm telling you guys, this is me and my girlfriend's favorite weeknight dinner at the moment because we literally feel like we're out at a restaurant, except we're at home and I can wake up the next day leaner, meaner, satisfied, and did all that without throwing off my diet. All right, that's one batch. Let me finish up this second one and I'll be right back. And boom, ladies and gentlemen, this is what an anabolic dinner looks like. Seriously, once I learned how to make hibachi chicken at home, it's literally been a game changer and something I'm eating at least once a week. Or if my girlfriend's craving it, we might even do this exact meal two to three times. Because when you cook the chicken this way, it's extra moist, has all that hibachi flavor, just like you'd get at a restaurant, except we used dramatically less oil, butter, and some of the other stuff that makes hibachi chicken contain more calories than it should be when you order at a restaurant. But when you take control of your nutrition and you do what I just showed you, not only can you eat good, and save money, but you'll be able to do all of that while still losing weight and inching towards your goals. Now folks, this has been sitting here long enough. I think it's time we try it out together. Come on. It is officially giveaway time. The winner from the last video is Anderson and Drevel with the comment. Thanks to your videos, tips and tricks, and recipes for the first time probably ever, I was able to stick to my diet even on Thanksgiving. I'm over 30 pounds down and about 12 pounds from my goal I set for myself to hit by the end of the year. Thank you for your help. Well, first off, congratulations, 30 pounds is massive. We all know people that tell us they're going on diets or they're always talking about dieting, yet they never change. That's not even throwing shade, that is just a reality. People I meet at the gym, people in my family. Friends, you'll see them, they'll say they're dieting, they're doing a bunch of goofy stuff and none of it works. That's why I always preach the consistency. If you make recipes like this one or the ones out of my cookbook and you are consistent, you follow the two rules, it literally feels like magic because the results just happen. It takes out all of the guesswork. And you said you're 12 pounds from your goal, which is essentially what? Five weeks? That's easily doable. If you stick to it, if you manage to do it during the holidays, you're going to deserve a medal of honor because that's fantastic. Anyways, brother, appreciate you for participating. Email me at the email in my description box. I will get a box of your choosing out to you ASAP. For everybody else, if you want to win the giveaway, you already know what to do. Leave a comment, like, and be subscribed. Oh, and don't forget, Anabar Black Friday going on right now. TheAnabar.com. Put RGF10 unlocks the full discount. It'll be the cheapest you'll ever get Anabars ever. So get in there. All right, let's do this now. Let me get some of this chicken. I'm going to go ahead and do the chicken by itself. It's been sitting for a minute, but I'm telling you, when you cook it this way, it holds that flavor forever. We're going to do this right here. Three, two, one. Let's get it. 
Mmm, that combination of the soy sauce, the hoisin sauce, the slight hints of garlic and ginger, it's got that little salty taste to it, super moist. Man, I love hibachi chicken, literally. Japanese steakhouses was always my birthday dinner with the family, or if my girlfriend would take me out for dinner, it was always hibachi, because for one, I love getting in that protein, but two, whatever they do to the chicken and the rice is magical. This is the type of chicken I can literally eat every single day and never get tired of it. And you guys saw, just a few ingredients, you buy them once, they're gonna last in your fridge for enough times for you to make this 10, 15 times. You can whip it up easy if you weigh everything out, it's pretty foolproof, and ultimately, you'll be eating good, losing weight, seeing results all at the same time. You can't beat that. Now in the entire 448 grams, or one pound of chicken, one of those bowls you saw me make, and just one of those. For the whole thing, we have only 559 calories with 11 grams of fat, 104 grams of protein, 11 grams of carbs with zero grams of fiber. That is insane, 104 grams of protein, I'll be. We were able to achieve all that flavor and moistness without adding much fat at all and barely any carbs. So I would assume most people are gonna eat this in two servings, an eight ounce serving, or a female might need a four ounce serve. So if we split this into 224 grams, we have five and a half grams of fat, 52 grams of protein, five and a half grams of carbs with no fiber. Whichever way you slice it, if you eat this all at once in a massive 100 gram protein pile or you split it up into servings, use it as meal prep, whatever you do, you can't go wrong with this chicken. There's slightly more calories than regular chicken breast due to the couple little things we added, but those calories are well worth it if it's chicken that you are actually going to eat and actually going to enjoy. Not everybody's a robot bodybuilder that can eat plain dried out chicken every day of the week that they made five days ago. Not all of us are built like that, nor do I wanna be. The most results, the best success I've ever had is when I made it a lifestyle. When I take my regular cooking I was doing before, I learn all the anabolic tips and tricks, and boom, by default, the meals I'm making are better for me, higher protein, more filling, all the above. And when you do that, you really can't lose. Mm. Let me try this rice while we're in here. It's a chicken video, but we did make the rice. Mm. That chicken and rice together, undefeated combo. If you end up making this recipe, make sure you tag me wherever it is your social, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tinder, wherever you're at, tag it, take a pretty picture, let me know what you think. If I see it, I'll stop by and say hey. And keep in mind, if you have my anabolic cookbook, it has been updated. So go get your updated copy. This recipe is now in there. And if you don't already know, with my cookbook, every time I drop new videos, new recipes, the cookbook gets updated for free. So you get it once. Every recipe going forward, all my new creations are added to it at no additional cost. I say it a lot, but if you follow us in here, I know it can change your life and you will see results no matter what you just got to do it so give yourself the gift of gains this holiday season baby hit that link down below in my description box and that's gonna wrap it up appreciate you guys as always you rock by the time you're watching this video young la's black friday sale is gonna be over soon so younglacom my good rgf will give you the full black friday discount up to 40 percent off select things they have tons of clothes it's all they wear and everybody i've gotten to try it always tells me that it's their new favorite brand so check them out meal plans and online coaching rmkjsfitness.com i can make you a meal plan tell you what to eat make it so simple that as long as you follow us on the document I send you and calculate just for you, you will reach your weight loss goals no matter what. You can always check that out. Don't forget Anabar, all that good stuff. Enter the giveaway. And woo, with that, we are out of here. I appreciate you guys as always. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see one of you with the next video. See you guys. Wham, bam, bam, baby. We gone. And I'm taking that with me.